Minister, I was really uh, pleased this morning when I heard that the government are reviewing um, uh, and going to examine the cost of living again and the impact that it has. And my question is very pertinent in relation to this because it's about giving the COVID bonus payment to the 500,000 family carers around the country. I really think there would be no better way of showing that that the work of carers is really respected and that you recognise the imp severe impact that energy prices and fuel prices have on carers uh, throughout you, this state. So Fair I'm enough. asking you, will you go back to Cabinet and will you thank fight for the carers? Minister. Thank you. Uh, my department provides a comprehensive package of carers' income supports, including carers' allowance, carers' benefit, domiciliary care allowance and carers' uh, support grant. Combined spending on these payments to carers in 2022 is estimated to exceed 1.5 billion euro. There are currently 2,976 recipients of carers' allowance in County Mayo. The Minister for Health has confirmed the payment of a COVID recognition payment ring fence to certain workers ordinarily on site in COVID-19 exposed healthcare environments. This payment is a matter for the Minister for Health and is not under the responsibility of my department. Insofar as my role as Minister for Social Protection is concerned, I have done my utmost to support the invaluable work uh, and role carried, played by carers in our society. Despite the extra financial demands due to the COVID-19 crisis, I increased the carer support grant by €150 Euros to a rate of €1,850. This is the highest rate since its introduction. In Budget 2022, I introduced a range of measures benefiting family carers directly, including a five-year increase in maximum rate of all core weekly payments, which came into effect in January, a three-year increase for qualified child dependents aged 12 and over, and two euros for those, age, those up to age 12 in all core weekly payments, five-year increase in the fuel allowance from 28 to 33 per week from the 12th of October 2021, an increase in the weekly income disregard for carers allowance to 350 a week for a single carers and to 750 for carers with a spouse and partner, and an increase in the capital savings disregard for carers allowance from 20,000 to 50,000. So I can assure the deputy that I'm very aware of the key role carers and in particular uh, the challenges they face in the light of COVID-19 and I trust this clarifies the matter. Uh, yeah, Minister, I would still ask you to go back. I know that this is uh, Stephen Donnelly's decision, but I really do think as social protection there's an opportunity here in looking at the cost of living in terms of actually the, the 500,000 probably most... most um, the most people that have contributed uh, during uh, during the pandemic to be able to give them the, the COVID payment. Now, the last two years were tough for many, and I wholeheartedly welcome the frontline bonus uh, of the thousand for the frontline health care workers, ambulance workers, and all of those. But and I understand there are many other groups of workers that also had reasonable requests uh, for some recognition of the contribution. But carers, their their shift never ended. And for carers, the respite as well. They didn't have that. They often didn't have the schooling as well. They really were the ones, and we know them all in our communities, and I know you know the Minister, that were there, that didn't get a break at all. And I really think, and I would ask you to go back and just fight for that at this particular time. Carers living in rural areas that have to pay fuel and uh, for going to hospital appointments, all of that, for heating their homes. You know the extra costs that are involved. Thank you. We could do this as a once-off payment in recognition. Much of their work. Minister. Thank you. And Deputy, uh, you're right, carers do uh, incredible work and I accept that and I meet them as well in my constituency and we help them fill up the forms and we help them to get the payment and, 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 and all of those things. But I'm the first Minister in 14 years to do anything about the means test for the carers allowance and it's something I was very passionate about. So that change, uh, it means uh, that all carers currently on a reduced rate of payment will see their payment increase from next June. It will also mean tens of thousands more carers who didn't qualify 
uh, up to this point due to the income threshold will now qualify for the payment uh, and uh, uh, the increase in the income disregard for a couple was something that uh, I really want to improve because I'm aware of a lot of carers where a partner, usually uh, a mother, might have to give up her job to care for a sick child but because the husband was working or because they had savings they just didn't qualify. As a result of the changes uh, I'm making a couple can earn up to €750 Euros a week and the first 50000 in savings won't be uh, impacted, it won't be counted. So, and I know the Family Carers and the Carers Alliance have warmly welcomed these changes. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, we've increased the Carers Support Grant, we've increased the weekly payment, we've reformed the means test, and my next priority now is to make sure we can provide our carers with a pension. And that's something that Thank I you, hope Mr. to progress Kermont. as part of our consideration of the Pensions Kermont. Commission report. Kermont. So moving on, I have to focus on that. Cormac, uh, um, every family is worried about the cost of living increase and they're worried and are fearful of their next energy bill in particular. Will the Minister review the household benefit packages due to this very significant increase in the cost of living and will she make a statement on the matter? Um, um, and, and thanks for, for raising this, Deputy. Uh, the Government is committed to supporting households to control and meet energy costs through a combination of monetary supports as well as investment to improve the energy efficiency of the housing stock. The Household Benefits Package comprises the electricity or gas allowance and the free television licence and is just one of a range of supports my department provides to assist people with their fuel costs. My department will spend approximately €273 million Euros this year on the household benefits package, supporting over 484,000 households. As part of the overall welfare budget package of £600 million in increases that I secured for 2022, I was pleased to be able to increase the fuel allowance payment by €5 Euros per week, effective from budget night. The rate now stands at €33 Euros per week and supports over 375,000 customers at an overall cost estimate uh, for 2022 of €366 million. Other payments such as increases for qualified children, the living alone allowance and the working family payment are also shown to be effective in supporting those households who will be most challenged by increases in energy costs. Again, I was pleased. Uh, to be able to bring forward increases in these payments valued at €98 million in a full year as part of Budget 2022. Any decision to, en to enhance uh, the, the, the household uh, benefits package would uh, ha have budgetary consequences and would have to be considered in the context of overall budget negotiations. In addition to the regular weekly and monthly payments, the Department can also support people through the use of discretionary payments, including through the exceptional needs payment and through a special heating supplement under the Supplementary Welfare Allowance Scheme. The recently announced electricity costs emergency benefit payment is a key measure being developed by the government, led by my colleague, the Minister for Environment, Climate and Communications, to help mitigate the effects of the recent rise in electricity prices on all domestic customers in the state. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.